All right, so what I've done is I've imported the images I need and I'm going to start showing you how to do the cut pans and zooms. So the first few frames, what I need to do is to show the first first panel, which um, I like this one to, to show that there's a teacher and then there's a student and I need to show these two things on my first panel. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to create them in a graphic symbol. So I'll select this and I'll convert this to a symbol. Uh, this is scene one and it's a graphic now. Yeah, I selected both because I don't need to have two different drawings here. So I can select them and I convert them to this graphic. Now I want this to be shown in the beginning for a for a good time to show what's the what's the scene over here. So I'm going to click on free transform just to accommodate both of these images over here in one scene. Okay, and so <clears throat> You can have a text over here. The text says, I'm not happy. And I'm going to just write here some text. Sir, not happy with the schedule. Please help me. So he writes something. <clears throat> I write something. So what the teacher is saying, Sir, I'm not happy with the schedule. Please help me. Now the next, the conversation between them is going on and I want to show in the beginning cut. Cut does not have to be always in the beginning but just to show the variety I am showing this to you in the beginning. So I am going to show the cut scene now. What cut? What is cut? Suddenly the teacher comes in the picture, he becomes a little bigger and the other guy goes a little out. So there is no panning over here right now. There is only cut so I'm gonna create some more uh, sorry some more keyframes here first of all insert keyframe and then at this keyframe I want to show this guy closer so the text will be changed and this symbol will also be changed so let me just bring him a little closer make him a little bigger like this so that's my cut so before he was like this and now it's like this and now I'm gonna change the text also slightly at this frame uh, change this to Okay, I put this in the same layer, it has to be on the other layer. At this layer, I should be having this text. So I'm going to cut this from here and paste at this layer. And here also, delete it. And paste it so the text text now changes neither am I let's go to the program chair and this is the last time we'll do this exercise no more program chair complaints after this so so this is the second cut you see what happens it starts here and this is the second cut the guy is focused without pan and let it be there for a while okay this has to be in this layer it has to be in this layer and show this for a while so I'll be showing this let's say from 20 or 21st till uh, 45 now let me just show this to you this is the first scene and then this is happening so now you, you say I want to give some more life over here in the first scene so you can just simply drag this and move this forward. So the first, the first panel will occupy a relatively bigger size or longer time. 
okay now I want to show cut again and show that okay sir let's go so you select this guy in the third cut which is the third scene this is the first this is second and this third here you select this guy and move towards the right side so that he's in the focus you remember you've already increased the size of the image so now he is in the focus and the other guy half or less than half of him you can still see and now I'll change the text okay sir let's go and then you stop it let's see let's have a look this is cut happening this is first scene and then cuts happening so we've got two cuts till now now we'll pan so we'll, we'll have a third scene and then we'll pan so let's have a fourth scene and then we'll pan fourth scene is this first second third uh, let's insert keyframe so we stop over here insert keyframe and now we'll introduce the other character also inside the other character so let's remove this from here at all and what do we need from here so let's say we take some other sad students this is a sad student and then the program chair and the teacher also so we've got all these three characters over here okay so let's adjust their size a little bit so this suit all all of them should be suiting they should come within the panel I mean okay let's move the text somewhere else here or maybe I will move this guy here so when the teacher is talking he it looks realistic that he's talking to him and he's trying to avoid okay so now I'll change the text also So you write this, your actual genuine complaint to Mr. Fazan and see what he can do about this. Please listen to us, this is not a very good time to study after exercise. And then let's see what he do, what he does. But while we show this, this is our first new scene and now we are going to pan into this guy, pan into this student so that she speaks something, so she says something and uh, we let this frame here up till this time and after this we'll pan into the student okay so <coughs> once you have seen done this insert keyframe and after this you start panning so this keyframe and this keyframe is exactly same there's no change now is when you start panning okay so there's no change between this keyframe and this keyframe so <clears throat> now let's create from 115 to 140 what you want to transform this into okay so one second yeah now is when you have to start panning so make sure this is a symbol this is something which we have to do I'm just going to undo this keyframe only to make sure this is a symbol these three are a symbol so I select them convert to symbol and what kind of symbol uh, 
all three characters are together so we, I'll write this all three characters this should be on the text layer which it is right now which is okay and I'll display this for a few seconds insert keyframe and now this and this is exactly the same but the key thing why I just redid this is I converted these three images into one symbol so that I can pan around them very easily so from 120 to 140 let's say I'll insert another keyframe now here only here on the characters layer I will in do the transform make this student character a little bigger and bring her into the spotlight transform make it a little bigger bring her into the spotlight notice the other characters are still there but focus is shifted to this one who is in the spotlight okay and the text obviously changes to something else um, and you write this you can position now here this guy you change to classic twin so it appears like this when you bring the focus so let's just run this now when the focus comes in you give it some time again to live over there so the user can observe so some time is given so let's from 140 to 165 you insert keyframes again so that transformation is noticed so this is cut cut this is cut now panning so that's how you do it.